Assalamu alaikum. Uh, good morning, uh, evening, uh, or night, or afternoon, depending on whoever you are and wherever you are located. Uh, all of the readers and viewers of uh, Lafs, uh, this is Talat Hassan uh, talking to you about uh, an issue uh, which was supposed to be a non issue but has become the issue that dominates Pakistan's headlines daily the Musharraf trial. There are four aspects to it, and I am going to give them uh, give a summary of these four aspects to you one by one, but just uh, index of the four aspects. Number one is the political aspect, number two is the legal aspect, number three is the diplomatic aspect, uh, and number four is the media aspect. So, let us talk about the um, political aspect. The political aspect is that if Nawaz Sharif uh, was given a choice to decide whether he wants to see Musharraf hang uh, or uh, go scot free, I think Musha Nawaz Sharif will decide to see Musharraf hang because you know, he has a personal issue with Musharraf. His core party members who suffered at the hand of Musharraf would also side with uh, Nawaz Sharif and may even clap to see Musharraf uh, walk uh, down the gallows. Uh, but again, politics being the art of the possible, this does not seem to be possible at this point in time because Nawaz Sharif uh, of course has not been conducting his uh, politics just on the steam of his protest or the strength of his own merit. Uh, lots of other factors have been involved. He has had deals with General Musharraf to leave the country. Uh, he had deals with General Musharraf to come back into the country. Uh, the deal with General Musharraf um, that Pius party had allowed the political space to open up in which he contested elections uh, and his members, uh, party members became members of the parliament and then of course, uh, he formed government as well. Those who uh, guaranteed these uh, deals uh, inside Pakistan, the army, and the intelligence community uh, would not want Nawaz Sharif to be executing his heart's desire. Uh, so, I see Nawaz Sharif uh, being in a bit of a political bind where his personal um, desire uh, is going to be in severe clash with uh, the actuality of politics and I think actuality of politics is uh, going to win. Uh, I also have a good sense of uh, the conversations that took place between Nawaz Sharif camp and the military camp. Uh, when uh, the former Chief Justice of uh, Pakistan, Iftikhar Chaudhary, was breathing down on Nawaz Sharif's neck, asking him to do something about General Musharraf, because after all, uh, Nawaz Sharif is not the only man who bears a grudge against Musharraf. The former Chief Justice had a long, big grudge um, against Musharraf, as big a grudge as uh, the former Chief Justice's desire for publicity was. But uh, at that time, uh, Nawaz Sharif did not want uh, uh, to be playing the second fiddle to the Chief Justice. So, he uh, had an understanding with the army that General Pravez Musharraf's trial um, is going to stretch to a point where it would become non-productive. Uh, and given a first legal opportunity, General Musharraf's name from the uh, ECL uh, exit control list will be removed and uh, he will be uh, allowed to go scot-free. So, I think that agreement still holds. Uh, I do not see Nawaz Sharif taking a political or a personal decision. Uh, to push for uh, Musharraf's uh, either life imprisonment or even his execution on charges of high treason. So, that being the politics of it. The other uh, side is the legal side. You know, we, we know that judiciary has become independent. We also know that judiciary has its own take on Jal Pravez Musharraf. So, regardless of how much clout perceived or uh, imaginary or real uh, Nawaz Sharif government may still have or goodwill he may still have with the judiciary, judiciary is not going to be taking dictation from uh, Nawaz Sharif. Uh, but they have to decide whether the uh, third November actions fall in the purview of high trees or not, or not whether they are the right court uh, to uh, decide this or should the case be transferred to uh, the military court. Though I, I genuinely believe that uh, the court's uh, um, hand is also tied because uh, they cannot revert back uh, to reopening the co uh, case because the case as far as the original Supreme Court uh, judgment. Uh, is a pretty open and shut one. You know, the Supreme Court said that, that General Musharraf was the one who, who did this and you know, it is a treasonable act. So, the court now has to uh, take a you know, very fine legal view of the case uh, if Musharraf were, uh, was to uh, get the, the benefit of the doubt. The uh, only benefit of the doubt that the court, court can give to Musharraf is that his health condition is such that he may require uh, treatment abroad, that we will not object to it. Of course, there will be the usual uh, rigmarole of signing of the bond and that he will he will come back at the first opportunity this that and the other but we are familiar with that you know Hussain Haqqani and his lawyers Asman Jangir did the same thing but the moment uh, Hussain Haqqani left on a very uh, uh, high um, um, 
Thatchard case, as it was, because everybody was talking about it, uh, we all knew that he was not going to come back. Even the court knew that he would not come back. So if General Perez Musharraf uh, gets a, um, uh, some sort of a reprieve purely on the merit of uh, all the reports of, that his doctors would submit, perhaps that's one way out for, uh, for him uh, through the legal means. But otherwise, the legal case is, uh, is very, very tight. And remember, the courts are also being um, closely monitored by the same media in which uh, they had created a lot of hype about them being very, very independent. So that's the legal side of it. Uh, the uh, uh, the sub-point of the legal side is that Musharraf's lawyers also then want the trial to then linger on. Uh, because they would want to use the trial to basically undermine the trial. And we have seen that uh, happen in the past. They would also want to uh, you know, uh, call to record uh, most of the agreements that neither the court want to see nor Nawashi wants to uh, hear about. Uh, you know, they, they would want to expand the, the trial proceedings to a point where it becomes next to impossible to manage. So the grim legal battle they would create, uh, and I think um, General Musharraf, if he was to use uh, if it came to that uh, situation, if he were to use the trial to his advantage, I think, uh, and if he is smart, though from the advice that he has been getting and from his actions, he doesn't come across as somebody who's really smart or playing smart. Uh, but if he were to do that during the trial, I think uh, he can uh, he can really create a big legal and political problem for the uh, present government and and the legal system. The diplomatic side is well, General Musharraf, maybe just one individual, uh, but. Remember, he represented a system that was bankrolled, supported, financed, and also upheld as legal uh, by the international community, i.e., the international donors, i.e., the Europeans, i.e., uh, the Americans, i.e., the Gulf region plus Saudi Arabia. So everybody came together in a huddle and created what is known as the General Musharraf system. Now, um, since he was the, uh, the top man of that system, um, and the system was supported by the international community. These things do not happen just like that. You know, one man was available. He was looking for legitimacy, and he got some friends, and they supported him. He ruled the roost. You know, international politics is far more complex than that. So I see uh, Nawaz Sharif's uh, uh, engagement with Saudi Arabia to be very important. Nawaz Sharif's engagement with the UK to be very important. With Washington to be very important. And don't forget UAE, and with leaders, their assets abroad. Uh, their economy, uh, country's economy being in the hands of uh, donors in more ways than one, I think their, uh, their hands will be tied. So the international community is going to become very, very important. Media, it's very interesting to uh, now see uh, those people, those media groups who were standing on the right side of Musharraf, and let me say actually on the right side of his military boot, uh, sort of tying up uh, his laces all the time. Uh, and you know the, the kind of interviews they conducted, it was all Musharraf Saab, you're great, or Aapki kya baat hai, you know, nothing like you. And the sun uh, rises from your right hand and sets on your left hand, crowning him all the time. That those media groups now suddenly becoming the champions of uh, democracy, and you know, hang Musharraf, and justice should be done. But we are used to it. Yesterday's uh, uh, you know pro Taliban. Uh, I love you, Al Qaeda category, are now the liberals of today. But Pakistan has this remarkable offers this remarkable ability for people uh, to act as quick change artists. These quick change artists uh, is a term that is drawn from theater. Uh, you become uh, the uh, play the slave on the theater now, and suddenly uh, somebody else creates a distraction. You go behind uh, the curtain, change your dress into a, a king, and come back onto the stage and play the king. So these are quick change artists. So you see the quick change, uh, change artists along with genuine concern that Musharraf should not get away with uh, this kind of activity, though the debate is divided. Uh, that should Musharraf alone be the victim, uh, not, not victim, but actually the, the, uh, the item uh, or the uh, goal of this trial, or should the trial be actually expanded to include almost everyone, political parties included those who endorsed uh, his regime, those who stood with him during the infamous uh, uh, referendum, those who wanted him to be elected 10 times in Vardi, uh, those who served under him, took oath from him, those who benefited from him, those who got transfers, promotions through his orders, you know, all of those people who came into the country, went out of the country through him, all of those people, they should also be made part of the trial. I, for one, believe that 
um, Musharraf was not alone. Uh, Musharraf had a whole political, uh, economic, bureaucratic, uh, civil, military support base available. Uh, and if you think that you are going to uh, close the door of coups in Pakistan uh, by simply uh, you know, hanging one man, I think you are oversimplifying Pakistan's complex political reality. Uh, coups do not take place because one man decides. Emergencies do not take, uh, take place because one man decides. They have got a whole rhythm behind them and you need to control that rhythm. Um, so this is the media angle. The debate is uh, going on. So let's see which way this tide is going to turn.